Hi, I'm Graham. I'm an associate professor of accounting. Um, I guess I would uh, rate uh, Top Hat about a five being the best, maybe a four. Um, and uh, for more reviews like this, click below. Um, and before I uh, used uh, Top Hat, I had another uh, rating uh, exam software um, from the university, or it was one of our um, ones that they said to try. I don't even remember the name, but uh, it didn't do the grading very well. And uh, um, it, uh, oh, it was the eye clicker, that's right. And um, students had to buy a clicker, and it didn't always work, and the base didn't always work either. So I had um, lots of problems with uh, solving the um, student's device and the uh, uh, box that would collect the re reviews and the, the answers. So um, I looked around at various uh, options and uh, saw Top Hat. And I picked Top Hat uh, for a couple reasons. One was that um, I didn't have to deal with software. Um, Top Hat managed the software for me. And um, so uh, all I had to do was enter my um, quizzes and I uploaded the students, but I didn't have to deal with, uh, we didn't get a good reception, we didn't keep track of this or any of that stuff. The other thing was that it ran off the students either laptop or iPhone, and so I didn't have to have a separate device to have the student answer questions. And then the third reason, uh, third thing I liked about it was that it gave me a little flexibility in terms of uh, after they took the quiz, I could upload it to, we use a, a learning management system, and I was able to upload the grades to that and um, then make it available for the students to review. And again, um, it was just a couple clicks and uh, I got that done and I didn't have to deal with um, any other issues as long as they had a laptop or a phone they could get back into the quiz and look at the answers. So those are really the three reasons. So to get it uh, up and running really was just uh, getting our IT to um, uh, allow me to, since all our computers at uh, our school are managed, it was just to get them to uh, upload the software to my computer. And, um, and that was pretty much it because um, it's browser based. So I had to get uh, um, the links okay through my browser and basically that was um, that was pretty much it um, I've been able to uh, log on pretty much anywhere now and create the quizzes get the solutions um, make adjustments and uh, allow the students to review it so it was pretty easy to get started with it I have used top hat mostly for um, multiple choice questions. I give my students a couple um, short answer. <laughs> it's really not a problem. Well, it has a little bit to do with Top Hat, but a lot to do with students who can't spell. And so if I give them the option of um, typing in answers, uh, I get so many different, uh, out of 25 students, I can get 30 correct answers because they can't spell the right uh, their words. So. Um, my suggestion is to uh, try and, um, if I'm going to use it for quizzes or that kind of thing, is to, uh, and I want to do grading. If I just want to get collect responses, that's a different pro that's a different issue, and probably that's a little bit easier. But if you want to use it to grade and do quizzes for grading, um, it's best to have questions that are fairly straightforward to answer because otherwise you end up spending uh, a lot of time looking at um, different spellings and different interpretations and so on. So over the years, I've gone more to um, multiple choice and I can give, um, uh, you know, six or seven different uh, um, options. So I can give lots of different choices, but uh, I've kept it at multiple choice as opposed to um, short answer because um, I just end up having to look at so many different answers and try and figure out what they were saying.